We're inspiring you guys to uh, take your pumpkin carving to the next level this year. You can uh, try to peek at their toolbox and see some of the tools that they're using. A lot of these tools are uh, ceramic tools, clay loops, ribbons, but you might see uh, some common household tools. There's paring knives, uh, vegetable peelers, you might see even a toothbrush or two. So Lenny and John have both chosen to steal a piece of pumpkin from uh, the back side of their pumpkin and attach it to the face. And this is to create additional depth. One of the biggest challenges as a sculptural artist, especially with the pumpkin uh, medium, is that you're working with a convex surface and the thickness of the wall of the pumpkin is only a couple of inches thick. And it, and it can vary depending on uh, pumpkin to pumpkin, even the same variety. So you'll see that uh, the three pumpkins that are being worked on today all have nice, green, thick, healthy stems. And this is a great indicator of the health of the pumpkin um, and also an indicator of the thickness of the wall. So usually if, uh, if the pumpkin is heavy for its size, you know that uh, the thickness of the wall is going to be nice and juicy and great for sculpture. But even with that amount of material, two out of three artists have uh, added a piece to the face, which is, uh, in my opinion, a very risky move with this short amount of time. So we have a four hour carving window today. We're about an hour and a half in. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna depend on you guys to cast your vote. So make sure you go see Debbie or uh, uh, Rachel over there at the voting table. They'll assist you. It could be easier. Just tap the QR code and pick your favorite artist. And uh, you guys are gonna be today our winner. And then we're we coming back? Uh, so I use uh, potato fifteen and uh, the tongue of sweet potato. Sweet potato is perfect for tongues. <laughs> oh yeah! All right. Well, check out the website at uh, NYBG because there's a whole bunch of tips and tricks on there. Okay. Good luck. Just over here, and that there's a uh, little carving competition at school. So hopefully these guys can inspire you. And if you do have questions, we're here to give you all the tips and tricks. <laughs> Only about two and, a, two and a half hours left, guys. Just a little countdown reminder. We should have a big digital clock up here at the, at the top so everybody can keep uh, track of their time. You'll notice Steven has a little timer on his table, so he's timing himself, making sure that... Uh, he's executing oh each step God, of the look, carving process the within an allotted amount of time. And this could be key. Each artist is kind of taking their own approach at a classic monster today. Any, any updates on your additional piece? Are you uh, feeling a little bit better about it? I'm on the fence. Still on the fence here. That is, I mean, that is a, a massive additional piece. If it doesn't work out, I'll end up cutting it off. Okay. <laughs> We have live pumpkin carving every single weekend by this incredibly handsome guy. And uh, come down and see him. And then we have the giant carving at the end of the month. The, the weekend right before Halloween, three of the largest pumpkins in the country get delivered right here at the reflection pool. One of them will be carved over a few days span. Jonah, here, can I take out your mask? 
I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming. Don't forget to vote for your favorite artist. Have you ever been a judge? At a pumpkin carving competition? Well, today's your chance. There you go. We're counting on you. Your vote is going to decide today's champion. We have a classic monster theme today. Steven, John, and Lenny have joined us out of their very busy schedule to carve with us today. to get down to that light orange flesh, which is beautiful for sculpting. And then they'll keep going down to smaller tools and refining the details, pushing the limits of how deep they can go into these sculptures. Cool. All this rain we've had here in New York is actually sprouting new hay out of these hay bales, as you can see. It's pretty wild. 
never seen that before. Almost looks like the wheatgrass. John Davis! Our new champion at New York Botanical! All right! John, congratulations, my friend. Very nice piece. Very nice piece. I, I'm so happy I didn't have to judge this one. Dracula for the win. Oh my god, just amazing. The Beast of Bla uh, Black Lagoon, yes. Wow, just incredible job, guys. Today was so much fun. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for your votes. One more round of applause for all three artists. Let's go, let's go group picture, guys. We're just gonna get you in here behind your piece so these guys can take their photos. Any photos you guys wanna take of these three talented artists, please. Grab yourself a pumpkin. Go home, grab some tools. Try to create one of these masterpieces. Don't be scared. Pumpkin carbon is all about freedom of expression. You can see we have potato and carrot eyeballs. We have pieces from the back and the front. Different shapes, different sizes. Have fun with it. Create. Please tag us in your creations. We want to see what you come up with. And don't forget we have so much more fun for you for the rest of the month of October here in New York City. All the way until Halloween. Yeah. Stay tuned. Follow us on social media. You guys have a great rest of your beer night. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Adam Beerton, and I'll see you guys soon.